record, record. Okay. So uh, welcome to the Circle of Light Meditation. Hope you all are doing as well as can be. <laughs> um, I uh, wanted to do a video slash meditation this evening on um, healing. <laughs> and, you know, I think I just, I didn't, I didn't send an email out to my um, email list this week because I've been focusing on my own healing, just resting, been very tired. Um, it was, and I think a lot of us can relate uh, there's, you know, it's, it's, it's intense. It's really intense time as it always is. Right. When is it not? Um, but I think, you know, from the past few years of just, just being in fight or flight, just this, you know, a lot of us have been through the ringer. Right. <laughs> and, and it's kind of like what's happening now in our wider society is that there's this kind of um, vibe like, okay, now we're all back to normal, you know, sure, everything's just fine, just go back to your lives and carry on. Um, and of course, there's still more things that the 3D matrix are, you know, things are, they're kind of pulling out of the woodwork to create fear. Um, but we know that there's so much, that there's this massive awakening happening. And I see, we see, I see it with people um, left and right, you know, just a lot of people connecting with their spiritual sides, developing their intuition. So it is, it's happening. It's really exciting to witness. But in the meantime, there's all kinds of other stuff that can distract us. And the more that we open our intuition, the more empathic we become, the more we have to be careful with energies we pick up on. I was just talking to a client about that this morning. Um, but, you know, what, what a lot of us, I think, are experiencing is just like, just almost like wounded warriors in the battlefield. <laughs> I certainly have, you know, being feeling like we've been fighting a little bit of a battle for the past few years, speaking up for truth, standing in our sovereignty, which took an incredible amount of courage, right? Just honor yourselves for how much it took to stand in that sort of, you know, uh, this doesn't feel right for me. I'm not buying in the narrative, I'm trying to speak a little bit in code here, uh, <laughs> buying in the narrative and the intense pressure that was bomb we were bombarded with was you know i think i saw somebody share something that you know it's like it's like uh marines you know like or green berets who go through um this you know how much can you stand you know how much how how you know, your test of endurance like we are we have been through that test of endurance those of us here that that are here to share light they're here to share truth I was in the Akashic Records today and <clears throat> the phrase that came up about what hap has happened on a collective level and how we can heal from that is mass psychological manipulation. And the Akashic Records is often, they're very, it's very light, filled with light and they don't often, you know, they won't use the terms like mass psychosis or, you know, things like that. But mass psychological manipulation is what we've, what we've witnessed. We haven't seen that since Germany, what was it, the 1930s. We see what the power of fear can do to people and how can people just reject or abandon, um, you, you know, your own family members, your own friends. It's just, it's still like just shocking, right? It's just shocking. So knowing all that, you know, to pretend that everything's fine, that we're just fine, we're just going to move on and like, okay, skip, pop and jump, you know, move on with our lives is there's something, it's the term for that, right? And I don't really like this term because I feel like it's used in ways to kind of condemn people, but the term would be spiritual bypassing, which is like positive, you know, just thinking, being positive all the time and everything's great and trying to just focus on the positive. And of course, we do want to be careful of our thoughts. We do want to be aware of what we're manifesting in terms of our thoughts and our um, words that we speak, but we can't deny that there's an incredible amount of sadness, of anger, of just the picking up the pieces from what we've been through. So I said this to uh, some of you here in the New Earth Collective. I sent an email out to you guys. I didn't send it to my larger list because I, I had barely only enough energy to just send it to my to the New Earth Collective. I think it's, you know, not in a bad way, just so much busy summer stuff, like all these activities, we went camping this past weekend, that doesn't give me a lot of sleep when I go camping. 
a lot of fun things, but I've been craving just alone time and quiet and solid, you know, being away from people. <laughs> so in the, so anyway, I, I only, um, I didn't send a big email out, but I, in that email to the New Earth Collective, I shared that our chicken, her, one of our hens, Miranda, was attacked by a fox a few weeks ago and she survived. My husband, we all we heard this, you know, clucking and the rooster alerted us. And so he ran out, scared the fox off and he literally had her in his jaws dropped her and this is one of our favorite chickens she's so she's got such personality she tries to come in our house she's not afraid of our dog she's just funny um and we she and um we found you know obviously we we scooped her up and she but she had wounds all on the side of her body just you know on the top of her just a lot of wounds not nothing too serious thankfully but um you know we treated her we gave her salt baths as best you can do for a chicken we took her to the vet yes we have a chicken vet and um, we kept her inside for a little bit. And so, you know, I, every time anything happens in our lives, I certainly try to do this. I look at like, well, why is this happening? Like, what is there for me to learn from this experience? And what I took away from this is that it's kind of an analogy for myself being out there, you know, fighting the, the light, fighting the, the light warrior battle for the past few years. And for a lot of you here who have been similarly doing that, standing in your truth, getting you know, attacked, criticized, ostracized, rejected, abandoned, all those things, but you feel, you know, these, all these feelings that we've been through, these experiences we've been through. Um, and like our chicken, we, we need time to heal, to just be alone, to, you know, to just connect with divine guidance to allow, I had this image, um, this beautiful image. Sometimes I get confused. I'm like, was that in my Akashic records or was it a reading I did for somebody? <laughs> sometimes it all bleeds together but there was an image that came up of of a person i think it was me walking on a path and like on either side there was like a guardian angel like just there you know just, that's what i think for a lot of us we have these sources of love to kind of keep us hold us up and when we don't feel like we can keep going but um you know i for one i i tend to work a lot and too much and when my body's telling me, okay, it's time to stop, it's time to go to bed, it's time to rest, I sometimes just push through. And I'm learning that that is not good for me. I have to slow down. I didn't do that. I didn't, I did a bad job of that this past winter. And then I got, you know, sick as a lot of us did. And it was not fun. Um, so I've been learning to do that, to listen to my body, to listen to those voices of the intuitive voice saying, okay, stop, you know, and go rest or you know, put the computer away. Um, if was, I do, you know, there's, I homeschool my kids often during the day. And then in the evening I'm working on the business. And then the other days I'm, uh, I'm seeing clients. So, or teaching classes. Um, it's wonderful. It's such a blessing. It lifts me. It brings me such joy and light, but it's a lot to juggle. And there's not a lot of downtime for myself. So I've been trying to be more intentional about that, but, and for all of us, you know, like our chicken, like our hen, we need to give ourselves that time and space to heal. So, um, and for some of us, it's hard. It's hard for us to do that, to receive, to just say, okay, I'm going to allow myself to, um, you know, get a massage or, to, you know, and to invest in ourselves. I, I have problems. Sometimes I have a hard time with that. I'm like, oh, I don't want to spend all the money on a spa day or going on a retreat for myself. Like I, I want to do it something for my kids, you know, and for those of you who are mothers or fathers often we sacrifice ourselves for our children um and well that's you know and one and that's kind of what our society tells us like it's selfish to care for yourself you know you're being selfish you got to care for others first but that's such a faulty analogy that does not work because when we are when our cups when our cups are depleted and empty how can we give to anyone else whether it's our children anyone else we have to allow that light or our energy to come back to us so then it can overflow and spill out it comes in and it spills out so there's so much deprogramming we're doing from so much of the negative social conditioning we've been subjected to so let's do a meditation this evening and um and connect in with with uh healing light i will say that this is and we're not i'm not really sure what's going to come up but it might be what i experienced the other day in meditation which was mother mary it's very her energy is very healing the gentle archangel raphael obviously also about healing it was this green light kind of like a med bed like i was surrounded in this almost cocoon 
of just green light, like flowing through my body. Um, and it was incredibly powerful, incredibly healing. And I was just sick, sitting there and soaking that up. Um, so we'll see if that comes in. I just realized I need to plug in my laptop. So as I go plug it in, I invite you to close your eyes and just begin centering in your uh, body, taking some breaths. I'll be right back. All right, so let's continue just to connect in. So make sure you're making sure your eyes are closed. If you haven't taken some deep breaths yet, just begin to do that now. Really slow, deep inhales and slow, even slower exhales. See if you can double the length of your exhale each time. Holding the inhale, it really brings in this oxygen. It's like a reset. Exhaling out tension, worry, low vibrational stuff that is not needed. Breathing in light and hope and healing and peace. And now just settle into a natural breathing rhythm. And just be present with your breath. Noticing how it's flowing in your body. Noticing how your belly expands and deflates and how your lungs create space for the breath. And just it's here for us. It's always here, it's a support. So just lean on that breath of yours. Just tap into the flow. In and out. And as we're tapping in, we're connecting in with our higher selves. We're connecting in with the space, with the consciousness, with the I am presence of God. And as we do that, there are divine light beings who are approaching us. There's multidimensional beings like Pleiadians, the Pleiades, the seven sisters, connected to us as our ancestral star family. There's Mother Mary, Archangel Raphael. Jesus of Nazareth. And maybe you can feel your own guardian angels and spirit guides around, maybe there's ancestors. And just feel yourself lying down. And just as if you were receiving Reiki, there's hands that are just floating above you, some close to your body, some further away. And some of these beings are just standing there and just their energy begins to scan your body. And as you, as you allow this 
healing, you feel this immense flood of light, like floodlights, like very strong headlight beams, as if you're in, as if you're in this magical sort of green light bath. There's pink as well. It's this very soft pink, like the color of pink roses, pink tulips, emerald green, like the color of grass and leaves. This light is just showering over you, flowing into your cells, flowing over your skin, entering every pore, just feeling yourself being immersed in this light. And as your body soaks it up, you feel this light pushing out any sort of invaders, invasive energy, low vibrational toxic energy that doesn't belong, that's been, there's debris that's accumulated in your body, there's stuckness. If that's there, the light begins to dislodge it. Like laser beams just flooding through different parts of your body, your organs, your chakras. Notice if there's an area that the light seems to focus on. It's stronger in that area. Maybe it's the heart. You've had heartbreak, you've had grief, sadness. Maybe it's your solar plexus right above your belly button where there's been feeling of fear or your power being taken away or lack of control. Maybe it's in your root chakra at the base of your spine feeling unsafe, insecure, worrying about finances, about your needs getting met. Just feel this light moving into any areas and flooding that area. And allow these beings to perform psychic surgeries, these implants, devices, debris, gunk, energetic trash, any invasive energy is now being completely sucked out, removed, cleared, evaporated away from your body, dissolving, pulled out. Allow light to do its work here for a few moments. Moving up and down all around, penetrating every area for your healing, for your highest good, all based in pure, unconditional divine love. The light flowing up and down, scanning, scanning continues. Feel space being created in your body. Openness, you can take a deep breath, maybe breathe more into your heart. You're able to breathe more into your belly.
Imagine your wounds that maybe have been open and gaping, bleeding, maybe even infected. They're now beginning to heal. They're closing up. All the white blood cells are flooding through the region. Healing ointment and balm is being applied by these divine light beings showering you with love and feeling now that you are also giving love to your body, to your soul, to your spirit, to your mind, to your heart. You've been through so much. And it's time for you to allow yourself to receive this healing. And so you receive and you allow, soaking it up. Maybe some of the wounds are now fully closed up and there's fresh tissue, fresh skin. It's tender that is there, it's protecting you. And maybe some other wounds are gonna take a little more time, but let's imagine that for now, they're all healed up, all of them. And all in your body is now clear, filled with light. You know that you still need to protect yourself as your wounds are still fresh, they're still healing a little. And you set an intention to do what you need to do to protect yourself. And thanks for these Ascended masters, archangels, the multidimensional beings, guides and ancestors, all connected to the divine source of oneness of God who have been here with you and knowing that they are here for you whenever you need. All you have to do is call upon them and ask for them to assist you, to be with you to help you remember to rest, to help you remember to receive. Just time, it is necessary, it's crucial for you. Modeling for others in your life, children and loved ones, how to receive, how to move through the yin and the yang, to be the peaceful yet wise warrior who knows when to rest, to recharge. I'm just seeing this image now of you moving back into the world with this new sense of alignment and balance and inner knowing. and of when to pause and when to retreat and when to rest, listening now from this moment forward to your intuition, to your heart, to the little whisper nudging you to rest when needed and taking action when needed. This is honoring yourself. having enough self unconditional love for your eternal being to care for and nurture your body, mind, spirit, and soul from this moment forward. So if you wanna put your hands put one hand on your heart this time, one hand on your belly 
and just feel this integration. And then you can move into gratitude, your hands in prayer position, your heart center over your heart, however you like, and just taking a moment to give thanks for this healing, for this divine presence, honoring yourself, honoring the space. Smile, if you can. Deep breath in, slow exhale, coming back into your body, stretching out, and then opening your eyes when you're ready. So I hope that was helpful in some way. There's certainly um, more time for healing. So um, this, I usually post these on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, um, and which is under Rachel Horton White. Yeah, excuse me. Um, and the recording will be here on the Souls Gathering Together Facebook page, and also obviously also in um, in Instagram. So I hope we, I hope you, me, all of us, um, continue to do this, to continue to allow this ourselves to receive. And really, Mother Mary, you're welcome. Thank you, Mother Mary is so wonderful at that sort of energy. So if you want to kind of instantly connect in invite in Mother Mary. Um, coincidentally, next week, I'm actually doing a virtual gathering um, with Mother Mary. It's from the Sophia Code, which is a book channeled by Sataya Ross, amazing divine feminine book with all kinds of activations and prayers. So we'll be doing the Mother Mary one uh, next, I can't remember what it is. I think it's next Thursday. So you can, that's part of the New Earth Collective. You're welcome to join if you want to do that, uh, it's actually next Wednesday, sorry, the 21st, the day before the fall equinox. Um, and, or you, you can join us in the New Earth Collective to come, or you could just drop in. Um, so I'll put, put a link for that. Um, but other, other ways to continue this healing, of course, I have uh, the book I just wrote, Tools for the Awakening Soul, and many of you have that and you're reading through it. Um, I'm going to be talking with Heidi Simons, who's helping me teach a class, a book kind of book club class on Monday. We're going to be talking about how the book can help us with our healing and how we can use, you know, how nice is it to sit down with the book, right? Just read with the cup of tea and, and go through, you know, our own personal transformation. Um, it, it, sometimes though, when we do, when there's like writing exercises, we skip that part, right? I just want to read, I want to do the writing and I want to do the work. Um, but so there's this class into the light book class It's a six month online class. We'll be talking about a little bit more on Monday evening here. Well, actually it'll be on my business page. Soulful, uh, what's my business called? Soulful work intuitive consulting. Um, I'll be stream, we'll be live streaming there. Um, but that class is really designed to help people. Is there's a um, number of you, I think seven people joining us so far, which is wonderful. Um, a number of you you know, you'd be able to meet each other and get that support from other people going through this, these exercises together and through that sort of soul um, journey together. And also um, having some accountability, like we're doing, we'll be doing writing exercises, we'll be doing meditations, we'll be sharing. Um, so it's a very powerful way, especially now to just move through that healing process. And obviously our healing is also part of our ascension into higher states of consciousness into 5D living which is a lot about being, right? Not doing, but being. And um, so many of us have always been, have been taught, myself included, to just do, 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 you know, make, do this, do that, go, go, go. Um, a lot of yang energy, forward movement, that's left brain. And that doesn't work anymore in the 5D new earth because we need to attune in with the different sorts of energies that are flowing, flowing through our hearts, um, through our emotions, got, being guided by our higher self. Yes, of course, we'll still take action, but it's much different way of being in the flow. And what's, what's really cool about it, I've experienced this a little bit myself, is when we start to, we can manifest things just with our intentions and our thoughts. Um, and then they start to come to us without having feeling like we have to keep working at it. It's really, it's what we're, we're moving into. 
So hopefully those of you, um, if you want to check out that class, um, I will, it starts in a few weeks and, and I'm really excited about it. So it's been good to be doing that with many of you who are here right now. So, all right. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, if you, if you, those of you who are local, we want to come just get some ha literal hands-on healing. The New Earth Collective, we're doing a craniosacral gathering tomorrow evening um, in person here in Maine, Litchfield, Maine, but with Alicia, Alicia Lawrence, who is a very gifted craniosacral uh, practitioner, massage therapist, and um, Reiki uh, healer. And so she's going to actually be teaching us how to do craniosacral work. And then we'll be practicing on each other. So what an amazing way to literally get hands-on healing, just like we all did in this meditation. So um, if you want to check that out, I'll share a way to do that too. All right. That's all I got. Thanks for being here. Many blessings to you all. Have a nice night. Bye.